Hey guys, and welcome back to Nuclear Strike. When we last left off, we finished the uh, game, actually, the main campaign anyway. We still have one more mission to complete, and my microphone is out of place, and I probably don't need my mouse and keyboard anymore. Uh, totally tangled by cables. And I also have this thing. Uh, really? Why you do this? Why you do this? But we still have the bonus level left. And this bonus level apparently is some kind of debug mode. Um, or a demo kind of testing level that they, uh, that they added in just for the lols. So let's have a little look. I don't know if I ever actually... Um, played this level as a kid. I heard a lot about it. Also, different cup today. I like this one. Do I look like a fucking people person? Fuck off cunty chops. Thank you, cousin. Suits me just fine. So let's have a little look. Anyway, I don't know how long it is. Apparently it takes place on the second level of the game. Let's have a look. Lightning strike. Nuclear devices come in all shapes and sizes, just like the lunatics who use them. Yeah, so I guess it is some kind of promo tells level. You that the threat of thermonuclear war is over, it's fool, an enemy, or both. Boom. Surgical strike mission. I'm quite excited about this. Welcome to strike, serving democracy for over 50 years. <laughs> over 50 years, you say? Eliminate defenses, recapture vehicle, enemy oil rig. Oh, is that all? Is it going to be quite a, quite a small mission? Uh, Somalian terrorists have captured several strike vehicles and have removed them. Or have moved them to a northeastern island. Fly your super Apache there and eliminate the hostile vehicles holding strikes confidential weaponry on this island. And we have no video for that. So we've got scimitars, warriors, hawks, uh, chopperals, tacticals, AA nests. Yeah, you can see how the um, yeah it has very much a beta kind of look. To the game. The high test local run makes the stuff you use for fuel in Moscow seem like a Shirley Temple. They also have 100 octane fuel here. Hmm. Ammo? Feel free to snag local ammo, but avoid the shacks on Depot Island. Any fire, and those popsicle stands will light up like the bottle rockets on Independence Day. Hmm. So it's slightly different. Super Apache, this is Strike's most frequently used weapons platform. The Super Apache smart armor can repair limited damage and survive the first two crashes. So this is about the same. Super Apache is the best hammer in our toolbox. First learn the jink. It makes all the difference between being a live hero and a late. Second, <laughs> check your wingtip configs. Standard load ain't for every road. Standard load ain't for every road. That is literally burned into my brain. Right. And then of course we've got the home base. This experimental stealth ship acts as your home base. It brings your chopper and other supplies into the theater of operations. Return here at the end of the campaign. This is home away from home. We're gonna keep it moving. You wanna know its current location? Then check your map. Hmm. Harrier. So there's a Harrier on this level. A unique veto. Well, it's not very unique in this game because we also have a unique <laughs> uh, A10. You won't get to fly these birds off, so have fun while you can. 
Hmm, intriguing. Okay. Strike is a covert military organization that stops wars before they happen. Working off the record, often without the knowledge of any government, they're the world's first and best defense against terrorists and madmen. So that's just the intro again. Tactical overview. Strike uses the best military and computer equipment in existence. This custom gear lets a single chopper pilot take on dozens of enemy vehicles and come out a winner. Location overview. Strike detects hotspots around the world using a computerized search engine and, uh, and immediately dispatch a team to that location. They investigate and terminate the threat, then cover up any evidence of their activity. Anything for that? This is a covert operation against an outlaw state. At the heart of Huang's empire are the military bases he seized when the Crown abandoned this colony. He's also packing a lot of black market hardware. He's continually expanding to nearby islands. The Optad is into everything criminal. Gun running, extortion, forced labor, money laundering. Looks like he's getting ready to take his show on the road. So that's what we already heard from the first mission, and that's going to be the same as well. The enemy has many faces and disguises. Nuclear terrorists, <laughs> nuclear terrorists, and local dictators with weapons of mass destruction are all potential targets. Strike has dealt with dozens of threats to world peace in the last 50 years. Records indicate Napoleon Huang heads the Octad. Yeah, we already know that from the last mission. Okay, so fairly basic stuff. This is definitely some kind of um, um, bonus level, or it feels very much like a demo. Come with a wide variety of weapon options. <laughs> yes, they do. All right, let's get through here. Holy shit! So, what have we got to waste? <laughs> oh man, if I played this as a demo, it's like, really Cloud, you cannot sit on my control pad. You cannot sit on my control pad. Okay? You're not a co-pilot. I know you think you are, and she's right back. Alright, let's wait. Oh, whoa! These things are mobile. Shit. Okay. We're having stiff resistance today. We've got two lives, so that's good. Oh, fuck. I have no idea what you just said. Whoa, that technical had a freaking rocket launcher. Say what? These vehicles are a lot more mobile than they were. Maybe that was the original plan. Come on. Let's take this guy out. Also, is it just me? Or did that Sam look slightly different to the ones in the actual... Yeah, the vehicles look slightly different. They actually look more detailed. Which is interesting. Ah, oh, there's the Harrier. Fuck this noise. Let's get the Harrier. Whoa, it's way easier to avoid them as well. Harrier, please. Please. Please, Harrier. Oh. Mission complete. Are you sure? So we can recapture the Harrier. What else can we recapture? Let's go grab us this bird. Please stop shooting my Harrier, you fucking dick. Okay, he died somehow. So we've got this bird back. Right. Let's go scratch these bastards. Oh, look at all that hardware. Nice. Oh, also, the Harrier feels totally different. Fuck these guys. Way too much hardware just sitting here for us to ignore. Let's shred these guys with our cannons. Good night. All right. That was fun. Even these vehicles are flagged up as enemies. These cars. Well, fair enough. Let's go scratch these bastards. Yeah, I've definitely never played this uh, level before. But then information was so hard to get back in the day. 
you know, if it wasn't written in the back of a magazine somewhere, then you had no, like, Google or anything to search. Whoa, I can't get over how different this thing feels than the main campaign. It's so much lighter and floatier. It feels kind of... Ah, there you are. It feels kind of like the um, helicopter, almost. Apart from the jinking is still very much the same. Ah, look, he's reacting to being hit. Cool. Fuck you. Enemy choppers! Yeah, 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 yeah. This ain't a chopper. Whoa, we get an M1. It's one of the vehicles that we can use. Dude, that was ear piercing. Nice. Alright. Well, we're cutting our way through these guys anyway. And there's water f flashing around there. Don't think we need to destroy the cars. Just saying. Hey, where are you going, you little fucker? Back to the bottom with you. To Davy Jones's locker. Good night, my friend. We could grab the tank. Should we grab the tank? Like, why not? This level is a playground, after all. It also feels like our dude runs a little bit slower. Oh, man. Good shooting, Commander. Yeah, well done. You totally showed that, uh... Showed that fence who's boss. Right, let's go rock the house. Ooh. Really? I don't think so, guys. Armor superiority. Oh, man, that's cool. Whoa, a technical versus a tank. Are you high, motherfucker? I only have 100 rounds as well. We don't have a lot of ammo. Oh, wow, running over trees is damaging us. I guess that kind of makes sense. So, eliminate defences. Well, we've kind of already done that, apparently. Alright. I guess it's time to say goodbye to our tank, then. Which is a little bit sad face. Man, this thing's unstoppable. Go right there, pal. Swallow. Mmm. This is rad. Can you imagine if this was actually a demo? I mean, it may have been. It may have been. Might have been one that I missed out on. I don't know how we self-destruct. Or how we return. I might have to just destroy this thing. I know there is a button combination for it. Really? You're fucked. Good night. Cloud, you're really not helping. You're really not helping, Cloud. Oh, dude. Just run over the vehicles. Or run over the cars. Yes! This is so good. Although the tank's not very strong. An M1 should be pretty much invincible against this stuff. An M1 or a, or a Challenger would really fuck shit up. Nice. Because we're almost out of ammo as well. I think we're fragging civilians as well. Which isn't really what we want to be remembered for. Whoa, technical. You're technically fucked, mate. Whoa! I think enemies are just, like, continuously spawning in. Seriously, pal? Wow, look at the fire rate on this thing. Is that what makes this one special? Pretty good on the old fuel, too. Although, I suppose if we die... Then... That will save our respawn issue. Damn, we're just mincing this stuff. She's gone. I 
And we're back. Oh, look, the strike helicopter actually has a little uh, symbol on it. That's interesting. All right, we've got our warbird back. Let's go get the Harrier. Where do we leave the Harrier? Let's have a look. Harrier's back there. And of course, you've got the original style view, which I really like the idea of that, but the game's too zoomed in for it. Hmm. Let's go get us some uh, British engineering. Oh, we can't get back into it. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Where's... And I don't think we've got any armor around either. So that's a bit shit. So we've recaptured the vehicles. Once an enemy defenses have been suppressed, you can land next to one of Strike's vehicles at a special landing zone. You automatically transfer to the chosen vehicle or aircraft. Enemy oil rig. Uh, I don't. What's that? Samage, is it simili? Um, ugh, my dyslexia is really screwing me over here. Commandos have taken over an oil rig south of the fortified island. They have reinforced it with heavy defenses. Eliminate gunboats and destroy the rig. Oi, oi, we can do that. Whoa. Whoa, holy fucking hell. They certainly gave you quite the playground to play around with, didn't they? You're gone. We might actually lose our chopper here. Shit on a shovel. You're gone. Heads up, base. You know we're coming. Yeah, I think so. And there's no armor repairs either. Which makes this doubly awkward. We do need ammo though. Think. Can we like aim please? Aim? No? I guess we can't. Fuck. This is our last life guys. We really need ammo. So we can pull back over here. Let's go have a little look, see what we've got. Shark infested waters. Keep your feet in the chopper. <laughs> look at the little shark. Da 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 Wow. That is a seriously tough shark. Guess we can't kill it. We've got lots of fuel. Lots of No armor though. That's disappointing. Alright, well. I guess we can't destroy this thing? What have we got to do? Eliminate gunboats and destroy the rig. Okay. Whoa! Let's go get some more ammo. We're going to be eating through ammo supplies like no tomorrow. Holy shit, I was not expecting it to be that tough. It would be a lot easier if we could use our Harrier. All right, let's try that again. Holy shit. Like, seriously. Oh. <laughs> Sharks indeed. All right, that came down to the wire. I would say we'd go play around a little bit, but we're kind of screwed. Let's go hand this one in. See if anything cool happens. Woo! We're going to have to be so fucking careful now on the way back. Thank you for flying Strike Air. We know you have a choice of many games to play, and we appreciate your taking the time to play us. Mm. Yeah, so this has got to be a demo. Oh, so the level just ends. The tropical serenity of the China Sea was shattered today by the eruption of Mount Palawan. Flaming debris has covered several islands of the Lavu Royal chain. 
Flaming right debris. Next, we have Lamar heading for North Korea. Just in time for Kim's peace conference. Yeah, one target rich environment for a terrorist. So, we have Lamar and his nuke. It's a city full of pollock chickens. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This guy's good. Well, that wraps the game up pretty well, I would say. Coming in 1998. Oh man, 1998, shit. You know, when I think of 1998, I think, oh yeah, just a few years ago, but fuck. That was 20 years ago. Shit. If that doesn't make you feel old, I don't know what, what will. Well, guys, I guess that wraps up yet another Let's Play. One that I have really enjoyed. So, what's coming up next? Well, 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 well. It's going to be an Xbox 360 game. An Xbox 360 game that I've been asked to play quite a few times. So, it's going to be fun. But I'm going to be playing it emulated on my Xbox One X. So it should look a little bit nicer and all that good stuff. <gasps> I've never recorded anything on my Xbox One X yet. Mmm. Excitement, she wrote. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.